Hi there, my name is Simon and welcome to my garage. Perhaps you are the proud owner of a Suzuki Swift Sport like I am. And you might have considered many times then, how do I give it a little more power? And the most obvious way, and cheapest also, is simply buying an aftermarket air filter. And I have just done that. And uh, I can tell you it's not quite enough. You also need to do a remap of the engine control unit. But we'll get back to that in a little while. I want to talk about the air intake box. So in this case, it's, this is a very restrictive air filter box which Suzuki has made. Of course due to noise and emission, fine, I understand, but we don't really care about that. What you can see is that the air we're dragging in here is going through a lot of restrictive uh, tubes, boxes, 90 degree turns before finally hitting the air filter and then going into a yet another 90 degree turn to fit the MUF or go through the MUF sensor. We have the MUF sensor housing here and then it's finally entering the throttle body. What we have with the aftermarket air filter is designed like this, where we have the air being dragged through here, through the MUF sensor housing, which is following with the the air filter and then directly down to the throttle body. So you don't need to be a, a science nerd or engineer to see that the flow is less restricted when we're doing it like that. Um, I did a dyno with the car before doing all that and it did 124.1 horsepower so it's pretty uh, close to, to how to say the factory uh, statements. That's nice. And that was kind of my base ground so I could compare it to when I have fitted this one. And just by fitting the air filter, yes, it did pull uh, more air in. I could see it. Uh, the fuel trims, which is controlling how much uh, fuel is uh, being injected, were active. It injected 10 to 15 percent more fuel just by adding uh, the new filter and that definitely says okay we have more air entering the engine but in terms of power it didn't really do much more power and uh, i can tell you why the suzuki swift as a standard with the standard fuel map is running very lean actually it's doing a lambda one not only when uh, driving around city at uh, low or middle load also at high load and you don't want to do that. You need to give it a little more fuel so you're entering, uh, so it's doing 0 0.9 in lambda, or the relationship 13 to 1 instead of 14.7 to 1. So when we're going into power enrichment, you're giving full throttle, you need more fuel. This is the fundament to create maximum power. So I did that. And finally, I could see the horsepowers rising a little bit. A couple of horsepowers was pretty nice. Um, but when fitted this one, you also need to have the MUF sensor rescaling. As I said, it injected a little more fuel, basically saying that the scaling of the MUF sensor needed to be recalibrated after you fitted this one. So remember to get that done as well, and also the lambda. But where I had the real gains in power were when I finally got to adjusting the ignition, the ignition advance. And here it's running, I think it was 22 degrees from the factory, and I was actually able to give it 8 degrees more ignition advance, which made the power climb, climb up to 133.6 uh, without um, um, the knock sensor being active without it's retarding the, the ignition and also um, without losing any power. So that was actually pretty good. So if you have the car, it's fine. You can buy an aftermarket filter. It'll make a nice induction noise from the very first second you install it, but don't expect more power without doing a proper remap. All right. I hope you like this video. Uh, stay safe. Take care. Bye.